Labi na sa itong mga bisita, gigan sa province. Welcome to our humble town. The space used to be just a vacant, idle expanse waiting to be developed for any purpose. Kanina space particular. Much as we would wanted to develop it earlier, but since the NGO is operating on a meager fifth class municipality budget, a lot of other priorities have to be addressed and funded, and a plan to develop the place took back seat for years. But in 2019, an appropriation was approved for the improvement of the municipal hall vicinity, and it included the initial works of this place. As you can see, the area has an irregular shape. It is not circular, rectangular, or parabolic, but we can definitely outline various shapes of polygons. It is also an open space where one can marvel at the beauty of sunrise, witness the sun gradually rising from behind the mountains as morning dew drips from the moist leaves of tall trees and thick grasses of the Suminian landscape. Or let the afternoon breeze embrace you as you watch the setting sun behind the western hills, which slowly become silhouettes of combined landmass taking shapes and forms your imagination feeds you. The structure around, from the flooring to the railings, from the rock walls to the hollow partition, take the form of various shapes and sizes of triangles, rectangles, trapezoids, and other polygons. The bright rock wall you are facing, wall colors mix of green and yellow is representative of the sun's energy sustaining the existence of the natural environment around the place. Hence the name, the Polygon Sunday. The phrase, Scenic Sominot, which is displayed in front of you through a giant marker in the middle part of the Sunday, is not just a description of the town, but it is actually an invitation for everyone to explore and enjoy the beautiful sceneries located in various parts of the municipality including the enchanting Cathedral Cave Complex in Barangay Upper Sipaw, the glorious Carpet of Clouds in Barangay New Carmen, the exhilarating viewing cliff in Barangay Rizal, the refreshing vast plateau in Barangay Datagan, and the rich forests of Barangay Sawa and Tikturan. The colorful giant letters spelling out the word Suminot reflects the diverse yet harmonious coexistence of the tribes and ethnic groups the Thai people, Christians, Subanans, and Muslims living in the different parts of the town's jurisdiction, from the mountains of the Tagan and Sawa to the plains of Santo Nino, New Roqueta, and the Poblacion. But more than anything else, the colorful letters pay tribute to the equally colorful culture of the Subanans, the early settlers of this town, and by which the town's name bears Subanan etymology. For the benefit of our visitors this afternoon, especially the panel of judges, the word Suminot was initially Sumi Noot, Mino being an affix in Subanian fashion, conjugating the verb Suot, which means to penetrate or to pass through. It is used to describe a creek idly winding its way down only to disappear abruptly as it sucked in a bottomless pit as it passes through a hole. The phenomenon can be witnessed if you follow the waters flowing along Suminot Creek, the small creek you pass in between the public market and the municipal gymnasium in your way here. Kung nakabantay mo, naigamay nga creek nga inyong gilabang in between the public market and uh, the municipal gym that is the Suminot Creek. With a constant usage, however, largely by the, uh, the Christian settlers, the word evolved into its present and contracted form, Suminot. And that's how the name of the town got its name. But what to do when you come here in this particular space? Well, it can be summed up in a short poem which goes, Do early morning walks with friends and family, or take a breather from a full and hectic day. Go strolling with your one significant other, or let the little ones run around and wonder. Take some bites on delicacies sweet and tasty, or check out on the other products on display. Wear your best smile and get your cameras ready. Strike a pose for pictures formal and walky. 
Do all that and more here at the Polygon Sunday where colors and shapes spice up your brain. Now, if our Njanti caves are believed to be inhabited and guarded by the Diwatas and other supernatural beings of the other dimension, the Polygon Sunday has also its resident guardian and protector, the cool and charming Suminian mascot, Buku Martin. Ladies and gentlemen, our judges would like to uh, direct your attention to our mascot, Buku Martin, ang probinsya ng Butong. Buku or Butong in the local dialect, as we all know, is the fruit of the coconut tree. And the coconut, which happens to be present in more than 3,000 hectares of the Suminian farmland, is considered to be the tree of life, as all of its parts are used to sustain human life. Because of its abundance in our area, the coconut was chosen by the local government unit as its base product for the OTA program, one town, one product program launched by DTI years ago. The varied use of the coconut has inspired Suminians, particularly the local women's organization, to process, produce, and market various cocoa-based products, which includes our spicy coconut vinegar, coconut soap, cocoa-based sugar, uh, cocoa sugar, cocoa-based native delicacies, and some hungry cups. But on a more profound perspective, the inspiring multi-purpose nature of the coconut can be anyone's motivation to maximize and harness one's potential to become a valuable asset and product productive member of society, an aspiration apparent among Suminian young blood. So that if a mascot represents the common identity of a particular group of people, Choosing Butong as the inspiration of the Suminian mascot is both apt and relevant. Looking closely, the relaxed angled feet of the mascot is reflective of the cheerful, carefree, and fun-loving spirit of the Suminian folks. The wide open arms demonstrates the welcoming and hospitable nature of the Suminian community. The pair of charming and radiant eyes expresses warmth and affection contained in the heart of every Suminian soul. The proud, the broad beaming smile exhibits the cordial and spirited character of the Suminian population. The color green, which is the natural color of the young coconut, symbolizes hope. And it is hope that fills the hearts of the Suminian visionaries who dreamt big dreams for this town. The very same hope that sustains its people to continue to endeavor for the realization of those dreams. And finally, the huge double thumbs up symbolizes Suminian optimism, positive disposition, and sense of pride as a people. It also conveys the people's continued pursuit for excellence and a strong determination to realize the Suminian vision of a balanced human, economic, and environmental growth, living up to its slogan, Basta Suminot Nindot. And to give it a catchy and interesting name, Buku Martin and Provinciano Musong Butong is coined after the very popular and longest running Pinoy television series, Ang Provinciano, starring Mr. Coco Martin. Now, to others, this space is simply a place for relaxation and recreation, a vantage point offering a panorama of the local landscape, or a venue for events and activities such as this. But for us Suminians, this place is more than that. just that. This space and all there is in it is pregnant with meaning. It represents our culture, our heritage, the dream of our visionaries, the initiatives of the current leadership, and the aspirations of our young blood. It encapsulates what Suminian people are made of, what they hope to achieve, and what they can offer to the world. And that, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished panel of judges, is the story behind Two Minutes Newest Pride, the Polygon Sandek, and its resident guardian and protector, Buku Martin. Gampulo palad palad, gumpia dalabong, tagang salamat, umayong hapon ka na itong palad. Thank you so much, Engineer Tata, for the thorough um, description of our pride, um, another pride of Suminot. At this juncture, we invite our board of judges.